Hey, Freedom Family, it's great to uh, be here with you. I hope you're really having a great day so far. Uh, pray that it's blessed and uh, God just fills your heart with joy. Um, I just wanted to share with you a little bit today uh, about what God has placed on my heart about uh, what we're going through right now in, in our teachings at Freedom and about de- declarations. And uh, I got to be honest with you, I haven't been big on declarations and, and speaking over yourself, which is really bad. I should be. I know those verses that talk about how powerful the tongue is. And uh, I've heard teaching on, on how to speak, you know, on, we need to speak life over ourselves. And, you know, I, man, I just need God to knock me upside the head and remind me, hey, do you believe my word? And this is what I said. So um, we need to start speaking life uh, into myself. I need to start speaking into myself, my family, uh, my friends, every situation in my life, and, and over freedom. And I just want to encourage you to do that too. So I am starting to de- to make declarations over my life, um, and I'm going to watch God just uh, just explode and, and just do great things in my life. And and you know my my greatest desire in my heart is have such a close, intimate relationship with Him um, that I just see His presence uh, all over in every area of my life and just seeing Him glorified in every situation that I walk in. Um, so I'm going to share with you uh, kind of what God's been sharing with me about declarations um, and where I started. For a long time, God's been impressing upon my heart uh, this verse, Psalms 37, 4. And it says, Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Now, there's two ways you can take that. One of them is um, that, you know, we desire things and God's going to give us those things. Um, and, and that's okay. If, if your desires are lined up with the will of God, that's great. But I like to look at it a different way. And that's that God takes the desires of his heart and he puts those desires in our heart. And that's what I think he really means when he says he will give you the desires of your heart. And uh, every day I pray for myself, I pray for freedom, that God would just stir up those desires that he's put inside of me, that he would help me separate uh, the desires of the flesh or of my own will, and uh, that those would just fade away to nothing, and that, that I would just really, uh, he would just really stir up those desires that he's put in my heart. And that's kind of what he's, uh, these de- declarations uh, that I've written out, uh, pertain to what he's been putting in my heart, what he's been stirring in my heart, um, and that's revival. Because I, I don't think there's ever been a time uh, in this world, really, um, in the history of this world, that we needed uh, revival. You know, this this uh, this generation coming up, especially those younger than 30, all they've known all their life is lies uh, from from the leadership in, the, in their lives, uh, from the media. Uh, from Hollywood and all in, in, in fear, lies and fear is all they've known all of their life. And, and God really wants to speak life and he wants to speak love and um, truth to them. Um, and, and we really need that. Um, so anyway, my declarations are based on that and what God's been doing in my heart. I just want to share those real quickly with you. The first three you recognize are based out of Matthew 22, 37 through 40, where he's, Jesus is asked, what's the greatest commandment? And he, he tells him, hey, to love God first, love the Father first, and then the second is to love others as you love yourself. So I'm going to start reading those. You recognize those three right away. But number one, I love God more than anything else. Number two, I have a healthy love for myself. Number three, I love others as much as I love myself. Four, I am an obedient son. Five, I have a humble, teachable heart. Six, I walk in repentance daily. Seven, I walk in godly wisdom and strength. Eight, I willingly sacrifice my flesh so that I can walk according to the Spirit in everything. Ouch. Okay. Nine, I am a strong and loving husband and father. Ten, I submit to the authority God has placed in my life. And number 11, this is something God just gave me. Um, I will fear him more. I will grow in my fear of the Lord. And, and that's so important. You know, we love um, to uh, that, that part of the, of the word that talks about um, his kingdom come and his will be done on earth just as it is in heaven. And that's an exciting thing to see. We want to see that. But, you know, before that, it says, hallowed be thy name. 
and we need to fear him more if we want to see the second part come to pass. Um, but I love you guys, and I just encourage you, uh, press into God and ask him, what kind of declarations do you need to make over your life? What are the areas that you need to grow in and he wants to see you grow in? And he's just waiting for you to ask and for waiting for you to declare Um, because he's going to do it because you know that those desires he put in your heart are something he wants to accomplish. Otherwise, he never would have put those in your heart. Amen. So he's going to do it. He's going to breathe life and joy and excitement and just make you come alive Um, and walking in his spirit, walking uh, in his presence and just anointed, carrying life and speaking life all day long in every situation you are. I love you guys. And I'm praying for you every day. And God bless you. Have a great day.